Hey guys, so I'm starting off with my hair in eight plaits and this is how I wear my hair at night. I go to bed like this and then I do my hair in the morning. If you're not a morning person and you want to do your hair at night, then you can just prep the styles or do the styles at night and tie them up so that they're fresh in the morning. So I'm going to start by just taking the four front ones out and then I'm going to show you how I style from there. So now that all the front braids are out, I'm left with kind of like a poof ball. Um, like I said, I do my hair at night so it gives it time to dry in the morning. I hate going to work with a wet bun because it takes forever to dry and then I'm like scratching back here and dealing with all of that. So, so now I'm just going to take and braid one side of my hair down and then I'm going to braid the other side. And I leave these um, braids in the back and I'll show you why. So now that this side is braided up, I'm just going to take an elastic band and tie this to the side and make it so it's secure so I can do this side. And um, a key when you're braiding is to try to stay close to the um, edge of your hairline because us naturals, like we can't get our ponytail to be like, well for me, I can't get my bun to be like super sleek and flat on the edges. So I don't look all, you know, raggedy and... Um, you know flaky over time I try to keep the braid close to the edges I also like to work on dry hair because I can just my braid just looks better I don't know why I mean the braids I'm doing right now seem pretty good when I was looking in the mirror but normally my braids come out funky sometimes so just doing my braids on dry hair is easier for me so now everything is braided and I like to keep the four flat twists in the back. That's why I want to make sure these are flat and neat. Because if I don't, my hair is super poofy and super big. And it's harder to put in a nice, neat bun. So if I leave the braids, then I just pull this all back. Now, I don't like to have a billion bobby pins in my head. So I just use, um, you know, ponytail holders to make sure it's secure. And if I have to use, you know, three or four, then I just use three or four. And I make sure that my hair color or darker. So I use black hair ties. For me, I don't have any issues with my braids being back here easier throughout the week because I don't go to sleep with my hair like this. I go, with my, go to sleep with my hair free. So I'll leave the braids in the back and then I'll leave. I'll take this out and put these in two twists or braids and leave them like that. And it's less tangly. I don't have as much breakage either. I also like to do the braids because Friday rolls around and I want to go out with my friends or I want to go do something. And then I got to figure out what I'm going to do with my hair because it's been in a bun all week. No, all I do is take all the braids out and I have a cute braid out too. So this is just style one. And if you needed to, you could take some Eco Styler Gel and a hard brush and put it on your ends. For style number two, I am going to be in a flat twist and I'm in a flat twist all the way around. Can you guys see now why I choose to do the um, plaits in the back? Because imagine having to put twice as much as this in a bun like there is no way like that that works unless my hair's soaking wet with a bunch of eco styler gel it's not going to be slick and flat so that's why i like braids or twists so i'm going to do a flat twist all the way around and then i'll show you guys what it looks like so when i get to the end I just brush it out so it's nice and smooth. I just put this here as a placeholder and I'm gonna do the same flat twist all the way to the back on this side. So now that both sides are flat twisted, I'm just gonna take them and put them in a bun in the back. Now you can either you know pull one from one side and bobby pin it on the other and vice versa, pull one from this side and bobby pin it on the other but like I said, I don't like to have a million bobby pins in my head. So a nice little bun in the back works just fine for me. And I got this. I might have to use a bobby pin over here to kind of keep this um, tucked in. And then that's it for this. So it's kind of the same concept, except I just flat twisted all the way back. So all the way back on this side and all the way back on this side. And then I have my bun in the back. So these are two super quick and super easy styles for my natural girls, especially women with 
thick, long natural hair. I know that I struggle with putting my hair in the bun. In a bun, I can't imagine if someone's hair is twice as long as mine, or um, you know, even shorter. So, if you guys would like to see more natural hair videos, let me know. I can explain what I did in BMT. I had a TWA in BMT. I went to BMT two years ago, so that was definitely a struggle for me, and I can share my experience about that. Um, I can also talk about mini twists. I wear mini twists a lot too, so I'll just do mini twists, let them dry overnight, and then I'll style them in the morning. Um, when my hair was shorter, I was able to just like pull two mini twists over to the back and bobby pin them, and just wear those. Those are super good or super easy style. Um, if you guys have any questions, any of my military ladies out there, or even in women just working in professional business settings that you know they expect your hair to be in certain regs or certain ways let me know and I'll be able to help you guys with that answer any questions and also do more videos I plan on um, sharing my BMT experience if that's something you guys would like to hear and um, how I dealt with my natural hair um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have not already I hope to see you guys in my next video